let it go. The things that have happened in the past, the things that aren't happening right now, let it go. If you want to be free, stop locking yourself into the prison of your past. If you want to see the light, stop holding yourself in the darkness of your past. If you really want to move on, release the heavy weight from your back. If you don't want them to win, let it go. Move on and create your best life. You would never allow a thief to enter your home and live there rent free. So why do you allow thoughts that steal your joy to enter and live inside your mind? Let it go. Had a moment of confrontation? Let it go. Don't allow it to live in your mind, stealing the joy from the rest of your day. Someone did you wrong? Let it go. They will ruin more of your life if you allow them to invade your mind like a virus, which will only affect the quality of your life in every other area. The best revenge is always moving on, letting go. Showing your ego is brave enough to let go. Showing you are strong enough to enjoy your life, to live your life fully, regardless of what happens or who isn't doing the right thing by you. Let them have their accidents somewhere else. Life hasn't gone as planned. It doesn't for anyone. Move on. Focus on the good. Those who live amazing lives haven't gotten lucky. When things don't work out, they move on quickly and focus on the next positive. They drop the negative like a hot potato and focus on what they can do today to get in a better state. They don't seek sympathy from family and friends. They focus on what is good in their life and let go of the negatives. Don't cheat on your future with your past. It's over. Commit to your future and it will be a strong, healthy one. If you don't let go of your past, your future will suffer. Understand this very important fact. You are the one who suffers most when you hold on to resentments, when you seek revenge. You are the one who wins when you do let go. Richard Carson once said, the key to a good life is this. If you're not going to talk about something during the last hour of your life, don't make it a top priority during your lifetime. Maybe we should all take that advice. Your ego will tell you, once everything is perfect, then I'll be happy. But your soul knows the truth. Be happy, then everything is perfect. No, life circumstances won't be perfect. But if you can get into the right space, you can then get to the understanding that everything happens for a reason and be at peace with that. So be happy. Do whatever it takes to find your happy. Not because everything is good, but because you see the good in everything. Not because every circumstance is a miracle, but because you see the miracle in life itself. Albert Einstein once said, there's only two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle, and the other is as though everything is. I know which space I want to live in. What about you? Forgiveness is giving up the hope that the past could be any different. I think for myself, and I know many of you, you think forgiving means accepting what has happened to you. Well, it is accepting that it has happened to you. Not accepting that it was okay for it to happen. It is accepting that it has happened and now what do I do about it? Forgiving is giving up the hope, not holding on, hoping, wishing, that it could have been any other way than it actually was. Giving up the hope that the past could be any different. And when I got that, I think it took me to the next level of being a better person because I don't hold grudges for anything or any situation. 
and neither should you. It's letting go so that the past does not hold you prisoner, does not hold you hostage. Yes, that's the story of two monks on a pilgrimage and they come across in a village, they come across a, a young 17-year-old girl with a long kimono trying to cross a very muddy road, but she's not daring to step into the mud. So one monk picks her up, carries her across the road through the mud, puts her down, and so the monks walk on in silence for another four or five hours, just practicing noble silence. And then after four or five hours, they're getting close to their destination. One monk says to the monk who had picked up the girl, oh, you know, you shouldn't have done that because we monks are not supposed even to touch women. So you really, you shouldn't have picked up that girl. You're not supposed to do that. So the other monk says, oh, are you still carrying that girl? I put her down hours ago. So the other monk was still carrying the girl, the event, in his head. Four hours and later. And for four hours he was walking with this burden. Yes, right. <laughs> and that shows the, the, the reluctance of the human mind to let go of the past. It's easy to blame those that have wronged us for just about everything that is wrong with our life. If it wasn't for them, I would be happier. If it wasn't for them, I would have more money. If they didn't do this, I would be where I want to be. Most people get so caught up in blaming, they continue to blame and sabotage their own life long after the person is gone from their life. Most people hold on to the blame, because it's easier than moving on. Those who take responsibility for their life and are wanting to move on and put the past behind them are much more likely to gain freedom, success, and happiness. Now, this does not mean there aren't horrible people in the world that have done wrong by others. It is not condoning others' behavior. It is taking back the power they have from you when you are the one suffering long after they are gone. Who wins if you keep blaming them? Who wins if you move on, forget about them, and create the best life and success you could ever imagine? Who wins if you move on? Who wins if you forget about them? Take back your power. Blame them for what they have done, but don't blame them for what you haven't done. Blame them for what they've done, but bless them for making you stronger, for making you better, for showing you exactly what you don't want. You can blame the world for bringing them into your life, but then get grateful for all the lessons it taught you, all the strength it gave you, Knowing your heart, if they knew better, they would do better. How good does it feel to take that baggage off your shoulders, to focus on building your future? What a blessing. Let go. Move forward. Never look back. The best revenge is not taking any revenge. It is simply moving on with your life creating the best version of yourself. <laughs>